This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so as you guys see here, uh, last class what we discussed. So we're discussing as a, so what is the difference between the S5-4 HANA as well as a S4 HANA, okay? What are the SAP front end company and uh, okay, back end companies? So we're discussing all those things. Okay, means front end is nothing but like uh, what are the difference between the uh, ECC, NetViewer, Solo Man, as well as a ES by 4 And the back end product beyond the 5GB or DB2, as well as a, sorry, Sybase, as well as a NRD. So after discussing what is meaning of NRDB, okay, so NRD is made up of three softwares. What are these softwares here? The first software is the uh, TRX engine. Okay. It's very fast compared to uh, okay. Next one here, you restore go for next copy. There is a base code, eh? and second one is a so the third one you have go for as a max. So, HANA DB is made up of this all the software. Okay, so what is the advantage of TRX engine? What is the advantage of base code? Eh? What is the advantage of max? Now you're discussing why you want most of the clients are go for as a HANA database and we are discussing as a uh, last class you done for uh, what a full form of HANA here HANA is nothing but high performance okay high performance analytical okay apply okay apply. so last week class we're discussing why it is getting as a high performance Sir, why? Because uh, the overall data will be storing in the RAM, RAM and accessing also will be RAM. So this computing calling as a in-memory computing. Okay, in-memory computing. Okay, so after that is topping as a analyticals. So what is meaning of analytical here? Why you want to go for analytical nowadays? Is actually by, for example. Now I have my front end is there. So as a administrator, what we do so here. So this is my front end and this is my database. Now what we'll do? So so dial what type of data we're accessing, everything there is storing. So that will be storing into the, the database only. Okay, so here what I'm doing here first time when you log in. So what happened? The data will be so the application to log into the application only. So what happened? My account is created. Means creating, inserting, daily what happened? Data will be inserting. Now, coming to this database, traditional database, what type of data inside of that? You can call it as a OLTP data. What is meaning OLTP is nothing but online transactional data. Okay, online transactional program data. Yes, you can say simply normal language, you can call it as a historical data. Okay, historical data. Now I told that so so means just as a message. So here last 10 years servers I want to maintain yeah, this database I have storing. But now what happened? So I want to accessing as a last recent. For example, I want to preparing as a last one month report. What the process is there as a user, what we do? So I have to log on to the bank and I want to giving as a some condition like last one month and was what are the Statements I'm running. So I want to get in there. First of all, first of all, mom, first day and was so then what happened? So you had to go for as a database, normal process. You have to go for database. After overall 10 years data, you want to retrieve the data from the database and you have to fetching the data. Okay, is normally only your account is okay, but here the banks are normally how many years do they making the terabytes of data and petabytes of data is available. Okay, then when accessing as a, it's taking very longer time. So that's why what happened nowadays, everyone using as a, some warehousing. Means most recent data will be storing into the BW system. It's not about business warehousing. Only using as a, only area of warehousing concept is only real time data, the analytical data is available here. So here, a BW system, what type of data you can call that is called as a OLAP data. So what do you mean only here? Online 
analytical data okay analytical data so what is the advantage here means what are the uh, what are the last recent most data so that will be maintained by this okay means that's why what happened now how suppose in your company or your project you have the pw system is there so the user will be not accessing the database neither it is not accessing the data so he's accessing as a this data only most recent data means every company having get some policies there so maybe it's six months after six months again those are moving to push the data into the again to the database okay means what type of data are accessing that is the analytical data for example i had to go for at mission okay and i had to insert in my card and i had draw some amount so what are the message you getting so you're getting as a last recent what are the transactions done so that message is getting why don't getting as a first today and was when you starting i had to open the last 10 years i want to open the account look so till first last 10 years to till date you don't get the statements why are you getting because of now every day okay means here the overall 10 years data is maintained by these guys okay last six months okay whatever action the relevant thing is go per year means the overall data is there so this is means you have to make a two different system means nowadays if you want to preparing if you want to real time within so you real time data so you have to require two systems one is the database is a storage for overall historical data you have to maintain here as well as the bdp is only analytical only reporting purpose okay once the six months is over then what happened those are pushing your data into it so last day i'm asking so we want to suppose you have internet banking access is you downloading as a last six months only why because of you have access for only the bw system for the particular warehousing system for that particular bank once six months is over then what happened those are pushed this data into again historical data so this access is maintained by the clerk and manager those are able to this access means those are dividing because of this is a whole or only all transactional data is available okay what type of historical data starting on was till 10 years data is available only analytical recently what type of the transaction is done that is available to bw system then what we'll do so you have to buy the license for varaki as well as a bw system even what happened i had recruiting a bw system guys as well as a database administrator two consultant and the manpower is very high but come back to here sap hana db okay suppose you are installing hana db in your organization then what happened so all historical data as well as a analytical data is available so both the data is available here only okay means hana database is there is supporting as a two type of data so that is a, that's why most of the guys are asking as a analytical only okay so means is a sap is a hybrid database means the overall data will be so oltp data will be storing and olt means now what happened so here what we do only one storage is if i want to go for two hardware i have to maintain it to only one soft one, one hardware and one software again here the administrators will be log in here the pw guys are log in here we can normally keep calling as here module let's module logger here here only preparing that those are analytical reports there is no pw system there is no database means instead of i want to go for two i want to go for one i am getting this all feature that is the meaning of analytical okay means within fraction of seconds i want to getting as a data from the database that is also real time data for example so i had to go for any supermarket i had to buy some product so this is given 10% so that person will be detected within fraction of seconds so not like that this is means your real time data suppose you don't have the real time data you don't have analytical data what happened so after 15 days after 20 days of upgrading then the discount is getting at that time there is no user to getting the discount on that okay so that's why what happened every is every guys will be asking as a i want i am putting something real time even you go for as a real time governance means live data so that's why what happened this is also one of the one of the advent from the hana db so hana db is a maintained in the analytical as well as historical data means within single data with within single state software you can go for as a modeling you can calling as analytical as well as storage so that's why you can calling as a hana db can calling as a hybrid database and next one is the 
appliance. What is meaning of appliance? Suppose you in home only have daily so many appliances will be there. Suppose you have to go for a split cord or a measure. Suppose you have a home appliance. What is home appliance here? Refrigerator. Another appliance. Okay. Washing machine is one of the appliance. Microwave. Okay. Is one of the appliance. Is nothing but what is meaning of appliance here? The hardware as well as the software. Both are installing at the same system or only one. Both are integrated together. So that is called as a appliance here. So here you are installing as a Anna. So that will be maintained by the some certified hardware partners. So that will provide with the okay. And even software. Software is provided by the SAP company. Okay, so the both are installing a single mission. Okay, so that is the meaning of appliance. So that's why SAP is very powerful compared to all traditional databases. Okay, this is the full form of SAP HANA. High performance. Why is going to high performance? Because of the overall data will be storing in the form of RAM and accessing as RAM only. And analyticals. Analyticals means the overall data, either transactional data, either move. So that is everything performed only on our DB. That is the HANA. Next one, appliance. Okay, so appliance is nothing but the hardware and common a common installing as a combined together. So that is the HANA DB method. Now I want to go for as a HANA futures. So what are the HANA futures is available here? The first future already you know that that is a is a in-memory computing technology. It means that is a hardware and common soft sorry. Overall data will be showing the RAM and acting as a through RAM only. Next one. So here already you know that is a applied article. So it's a hybrid database. And even here, compared to Okay, traditional database overall data will be storing. Suppose now using as a uh, oracle database or a SQL database overall data, how the data will be inserting and reading from the database, the format of row storage. But coming to an I store, the data will be storing the format of row wise as well as a column storage. Okay, both is available. So, for example, we have free time is they just go for as not only Anna, so here. Robust storage developers you can get in a day where I kill SQL, okay, max db db2 these are the data will be storing in the permit RAM and accessing as a through RAM only sorry through row wise only sorry row wise and even if you're checking as a column storage flavors suppose when you go for as a Australia or any other foreign country those are in the column storage data like here one data with the Mongo database okay and some other flavors also there Okay, so these are the column. These are working. The data will be storing in the parameter row wise and accessing as through row wise only. And when you go for here, the data will be storing column wise again through column. Okay. So, but SAP and I will be supporting as a both. Okay, row wise and column storage. Both will be supported. Okay. Hello? Yeah, sir, what is the difference between the row wise and column wise? Is Suppose now here in my company, so okay, how the data is storing in the Sorry, yeah, tell me some guys. Sir. So here, any type of database, the data will be storing in the format of rows and columns only. Yeah, tell me, Raj. Yeah, you can proceed. I'm also having the same doubt only. You can proceed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now see here. So suppose now I'm starting as a employee name. This is the fields, okay? Employee ID, okay? Employee salary, okay? Employee location. So this is my table. So I had to put the employee name like, uh, Raj. Okay, no one. Okay, and the three. Okay, so. Okay, so these are the four employees is available. So I'm trying. Okay, one add. One add two. One add. Okay, that's all it will be. Thousand. Two thousand. Three thousand. Four thousand. The location will be a 
Thank you. Thank you. Chennai. Right. So now here, what I'm doing here? So I had to uh, write the queries. What is the query I'm writing here? So select star from the employee table where the salary is more than three dollars. And suppose when you go for rowized, okay, how the data will be rowized will be searching is nothing but so is go for each area. First of all, I want to check in this condition. Okay, so the condition is not met. Okay, so means but is reading is compulsory reading the data. Okay, so second column also reading. Okay, third column also reading. Okay, the condition will be okay. Is okay till okay. Go for suppose you have billion records will be there. Then what happened? All billion records will be uh, reading. Then only showing the output. So after all, this just also as a okay, 10 guys will be having as a all more than 3000 salary and it's getting the output. Means here, what are drawback of the rovers is the but even if we don't go for as a suppose, it is not our condition, but is reading compulsory, is reading, 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 all 1 billion records will be reading, then showing as an output. So that is a row wise, but when you go for as a column wise. And what happened directly is pick this column and a table will be scanning and what happened so directly checking as a column okay employee salary column okay directly speak the employee salary column and is a filtering this is more a scanning will be not reading scaling and getting as an output so compared to row wise the column is very fast to perform as a any aggregation functions aggregation is nothing but summation minimum maximum okay counting those values is far from very very high for compared to row wise and column so for example yeah i take one best again suppose now here just as a manager i have to open the excel sheet okay next sheet what i'm doing here is based on excel sheet what is the basic example column stories now what we do so i have to maintain it as an excel sheet just not the database just do i have to maintain the 10,000 records. Okay. So after 10 records, I'm saying no. So I want to prepare the same cover. I want to prepare as a top 10 salaries in my company. Okay. Then what happened? When you go for row wise, when checking is very, very difficult to make 10,000 records. So if you want to go for that, what we do? You have to directly go for as a that particular caller. You have to select it and set the filtering. And you heard this. Then automatically, what happened? In fraction of seconds, you're using the data. Okay. Clear? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Sure. Sure. One more time. See, yeah. one more thing. SAP AMA DB will be go for uh, the same query. It will be searched by column wise. That is why you are saying, right? Both row wise as well as column wise. The same query, same query command will be searched, right? Yes, yeah, same query you using. Okay. Actually, what happened means the MongoDB is not no SQL, right? That uh, they will not uh, use for this type of traditional command. They only we no, can no. able to. Uh, yeah, any type of we can using as any traditional commands as you can use it. So the storage is this. Okay, the data will be stored. The queries are common. Okay, even I'll show that once you have to put a practical how to create the table. Okay, how the storage will be there, what type of tables is there. And for example, actually, the Raj is given server access, but it's not our server access, different server access. That is, those are providing a very different. So that's why I'm taking one second. It's providing the server access, but it's not uh, what's is as by four. requiring HANA DB. The HANA DB software is not available here. When that is um, also. Here, this, this one already uh, shared by Karthik or uh, whom? Karthik only. Okay, okay. But is okay, I'll, I'll, I'll speak with him today. Yeah, because see here. 
So as an administrator, you were working only only for installation, upgradation, not printed. Now see here, the software is also not available. Let's say because of, you cannot install in the software directly here. So here there is no software. So let's there is no software. Hana software is not available here. Okay, because of here the course is majorly installation, upgradation, backup, recovery, those kind of things. But it's taking as only normal uh, this access. You don't want this. This is a front end. Previous session, sir, I want to know what a doubt is there. So this is the basis gates are working here. See here. What are the back end here? What are the back end here? Hana DB. Yep. Okay, Hana DB. And the front end is? Okay, that is also so Hana 2.0 only there is a word version. Okay, go first see the detail. What are printed here? So this is one printed. What is printed here? Hana. S by four Hana. That's not Hana. Yeah. Back end is Hana database and front end S by four. You don't go for S by four because it is not S by four. You say that's now clear now. What is the difference between the S by four Hana and this? Yeah, yeah, so I need to uh, uh, actually we need to get access for uh, oh. installing HANA. Okay, no, 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 HANA DB. Okay, so that is uh, that is no, you're requiring a new fresh server because it's HANA. So, how to log out HANA DB in using HANA Studio? Okay, so here you okay. can add the connection details, you can log in. Okay, not GUI. So you log in at the studio. If you log on, log on to the uh, browser. Okay. Sorry, if you log on to the, any Max DB software also, Sybase also, you can log in through even DB devices through studio based on. Okay, this is the front end. What? Sorry? S4 Ana is using for studio, right? S4 Ana is we are using for studio. Old version yeah. is app login. That's fine. That is a normal log. The front end, back end, you have to match. So that is the basis concern. As an administrator, you have database that we can go for only HANA Studio. Uh, CRD, uh, whether we are using HANA DB or uh, any other DB, uh, so via uh, this HANA Studio only we are logging, correct? Yeah, anything you can log to HANA DB. So Studio based only. Oh, okay, okay. The app login is maintained by the basis consulting. So, so okay. today what I need to check with Karthik, uh, CRD? No, no. Uh, we need to manage the need... yeah, yeah, we don't have the HANA software. You cannot install the HANA software in the machine. So okay. please ask. Okay. Sure, sure. I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. So here, this Trudy, is the one. Uh, one yeah. One minute, Trudy. See what okay. you are explaining. HANA is not available. Means S4 HANA is not available. The HANA DB is not available. HANA DB is not available. You don't requiring as a Yeah, you don't requiring uh -huh. as a S by four. You're requiring HANA DB. I can is required. Okay, can you go for the last things? Uh, SAP, SAP on screen. SAP sure. log on screen. SAP yeah. log on screen. Yeah. Uh, go to the status the extra the system status. Hmm. What do you explain to your database data? Is this is for the back end. Okay. This is the back end. Okay. Back end. Already so already this is the okay. application server. These are the applications. Okay. 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 So here, what are the application installing? And on top of HANA DB, those are installing this application. Yes, by 4 HANA 1610, Ferry software, okay. and edition. Okay. So these are the front end products. So this is accessed by the that, basis consultant. Okay. okay. So what, for example, uh, I had to monitor. Here, Hana right? That versions also also you are seeing, right? Sorry. Already they are connected. Already the system status. Go to the system yeah. status. Yeah. Yeah. System data already is there, but you don't want to. You want to learning installation concept, no? You require okay, the software. Okay. So here, this is also see what is the version is there here. 2.0 okay what is the current version 
2.0 sp03 even that is okay but how to install the software already those are installing then what we learning here okay okay, okay. got it sir already already installing then what we learning here okay so you want to learning as installation upgradation once version to another version and okay, okay. And that is a major concept of an administrator, guys. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Here, okay. Just once, yeah. So see, here, for example, I log in already existing database, but you don't know what is this instance number. Okay. So how to it is uh, storage installing? Suppose in our real time, what happened to the grid pre system? Those are implemented. So how we can perform this? Just so that are, sir, how this details is given? Who are providing this details? Who are installing HANA DB? They know what is this and everything. Okay, this is the database. Clear? So this is your learning. But I want to know why you want to providing ERP. Why don't you go for some other SIDs? Okay, why you want to providing? How it is getting this? Okay, let me check okay. here. How to add the system details? Even how to install the HANA Studio? Okay. <laughs> how you know this? All the things because uh, once you want to know the installation everything, then only you know that. So yeah, yeah this yeah. is a version install. Now clear my question. Okay, yeah, already yeah, sure. you cannot do it. So, so just I'm saying what is the meaning of ERP? You're asking again, sir. What is that ERP here? Okay. And what is meaning of provisioning? What is the meaning of security? Even here, when you're adding how to add, sir, installing is very installing HANA DB. It's just Linux. Okay. Yes. Okay. We installing how we can adding into the now, where am I asking this? I'm asking it to the true Windows base, true putting. So, where I'm installing okay. Studio? Studio I'm installing as a in the Windows machine. Okay, okay. So, I'm installing, I'm installing here. This is Windows machine. So, I'm installing as a Studio there. So, on our database, Linux machine, I'm installing the Windows uh, start, sorry, Studio here. How we can relation, how it is connecting. Okay, that okay. Yeah, I'm asking those type of configuration. Okay. So for database connectivity, you're using putty. Yes, yes. Okay. Once again, okay. yes, yes, once again. Okay. Because uh, one second I get the call. Okay. Hey, Raja, the Vivek is there uh, along with you? Are you alone? Raja, the. Yeah, he's there. He's, there. he's along with you, right? Yes, yes. Hi, Vivek. Good evening. Hi, Morgan. Good evening. Hi, hi Vivek. Good, good evening. Good evening. Okay, fine. Now see here, yes, suppose you say, sir, how the tables are storing. So in the format of row wise as well as a column wise. For example, I have to open this. Sir, how to get this overall data during installation only you know, all the knowledge. Okay, I have to open the system tables. So now how the SAP is supporting there is no tables here in here. Uh, what is usually right here? Paste. Okay, these are the database, right? Yeah, these are the database with the schemas inside of the schema. I can call in the schema. schema, schema. So this is the database. Okay. Okay. Under database, you have the collection of schemas is there. Okay. <laughs> suppose I want able. Sorry. Yeah. Suppose I want able to create the table. Right click on it. Okay. Either you have to go for 
query based id hard to as a gui based okay now see here. what the formats is there okay here table name and storage. by default what is storage taking here column if you want to go for row wise are you want to go for table so when you do creation you can specify row wise or column wise both will be supported so that is i'm saying here okay even you say that column storage of the same for example so what is the query you want writing as a columns now i'm doing the gui basis so i want to write the query so what is the query i'm saying yes here your, your voice is great yeah how to create the table okay here yeah. create the column wise okay create column table table name okay employee id employee name. okay this is the my query now what is story this is this is the column for example just click on what happened here could not be executed this uh, employee name varkar is this correct it is very open Index in it. JDB connection is a sequence index. Create, and yeah, that's okay. Table, table, employee. DJ, you don't specify Erica. First column, column number eight is here. Yeah, the spelling mistake. You can see here table. Yeah. Same SQL queries, how we can write it? Same. What is change? Comma, comma is missing. Employee ID. That employee ID, employee ID in teacher. Yes, okay. Yeah, so okay. Yeah. Now is done successfully. See here. Okay, now just I click on it. See the how is looking like. Uh, see how other storage is there? Employee. No, no. So the looking well, how is looking like here? Column. Okay. Column. Suppose you create the row by so you create table employee by employee. Uh, see, I am not giving any column keyword. What happened? By default, how is taking? Default is like for table. Row wise. Right, right. Just click the refresh. And how it is looking like? Okay. So suppose double click on it. Showing. Now see here. This is employee one. No, no, Take. both the icon is same. But where you can able to find the difference? No, no, just one second. Yeah, that is I'm checking here. It's a column by column. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is by default checking the column is only the 
the row wise as if you don't specify anything is checking as a column only sorry uh, you don't specify this by default is take row wise only okay let me just one sec then default schema wa see okay Okay, this is one. Okay, under my you can take it. Thank you, sir. CD. Okay, this is the advanced question. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, no, just I need to ask it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> which kind of scenario we can go for a, a row wise? Which kind of scenario we can go for the um, uh, column wise? It no, means no. BW by default by column wise only. There is no option. And uh, apart from this DV, uh, BW, that BI, uh, uh, that MM, PP, that kind yes. of database we go for a uh, row wise. Oh, or okay. so yeah, for example, here. When you putting the data into the suppose my data is available into the uh Varaki database, so that will be based. once you are replicating into the and convert into the column storage because a compression factor will be there. Okay, okay. The compression automatically overall data and structured data will be converted to structured data and come into the column storage. All metadata is coming to you, it will go for the column storage. Okay. 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 So, uh, CD, uh, CD, can you come? Can you come again? Uh, actually, yeah, why is data, so your, your voice is breaking. Actually. Okay. okay. Now I'm using the front end source application data and back end the Oracle data. Now what I'm doing here, I have to migrate into the Nana DB. Okay, so here what actually has some data is there. Nah? So what type of data will be my part? What type of data will be replicated here? Okay, then automatically is taking as a columns. Once it's coming to HANA, the data will be stored in the format of column wise. By default, it comes or what? Yeah, by default is so because of SAP have one factor, the compression factor. Okay. So compression factor will be this. So what is the purpose of this? Suppose now here, my current database size is 15 terabytes will be there. Once you have to migrate the overall data on our DB, it is getting to 1.5, uh, means around is a 15 million, uh, 1 TB is 500 million, so 1.5 terabytes. Means what happened here? The compression rate is the 10% compression rate is there. That is one of the future. Without any data loss, so here I am maintaining the 15 terabytes data. We are coming to NRDB. What happened? 1.5 data will be there. That much of compression so, will be there. Yeah. Th so this what this was happened due to the columnized uh, storage. Column yeah. This is overall data will be storing the format row wise. Once you have to migrate to HANA database, all metadata will be storing in the format of column. Okay. Even yeah. if you want analytical, okay, with the BW system, okay, the BW system also you have to migrate in. So those type of analytic is storing by default row wise. Once it's coming to HANA, it's storing in the column as well. Okay. 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 Suppose you have directly integrated your application to here, then you can use it as a row wise again. 
So this is you can call it as a integration part. Integration. So this is what we call here. This is you can call it as a migration. Okay. SAP to SAP you can call it as integration. On SAP to SAP you can call it the migration. So that type of data. Even if you want to write the queries in the format of SQL or MDX, multi data, multi dimensional access, those queries also by default convert into the row storage as well as the column storage. Okay. Uh, Shiridi, uh, you, you, you said about integration, right? Uh, what is it exactly? Can you come again? SAP to SAP. Okay, SAP to SAP can call it integration. Okay, SAP to SAP can call it as a migration. Oh, DB to DB migration and SAP to SAP integration. Yes, I know. SAP to data, SAP, SAP product is my integration. Okay. So this is you can call it migration. Okay, MDX is means one kind of SQL type or how it is? Which way? MDX, SQL comma MDX. Yeah, MDX same thing. Multi-dimensional. This single dimension, this is the multi-dimensional access engine. This next year, next year, next year, next year queries. Okay. Advanced type of query it is or how it is? Yeah, advanced only. This is also Microsoft tool that is a multi-dimensional queries. Multi-dimensional. Uh, uh, Shirdi, uh, can you can, can you just come in for this migration? I'm actually, a bit uh, confused on this one. Uh, integration, okay. SAP to SAP integration, and the migration uh, part. SAP to SAP, we can call it the migration. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. This is the come. Even suppose you have BW to RRDB, we can call it. This is a integration. Only a non-SAP to SAP, we can call the migration provides. Okay, okay, okay got it. The as well as the column -wise. This multi dimensional extraction means it will be the query or how it is. It will be the integration Sorry. part. What, what? This multi dimension. This multi dimension. What is the queries? What type of queries you want to write in? Is a single query, a single dimension query, or multi dimension query? So that you have to define okay. it manually. Yeah. Based on our queries, is automatically taken. Means anai dev is taking both single dimension is taking multi dimension is taking. Okay. Next one. So next one compression pack. That's not a discussing. So means so compared to remaining all database here, the compression pack in 10% will be more. So means I don't know. So my existing database here, yeah, the one terabyte will be there, or you can say ten terabyte data will be there. Once you have to migrate into HANA DB, so how much size is there? Is overall size is there without any data loss? It's taking as a one terabyte. Data. During the sizing, you can make sure how much compression is there based on the formulas. So one of the compression rate is also is very high. Okay, without any data. Next one is the what kind of what kind sorry. of compression is what kind of compression is having that any sham method anything method is there any no no what kind of method they are saying compression method any any famous method is there it's no no the is, you don't do anything just by default is came to picture okay 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 next one multi core processors so what do you meaning about it? So now you normally using a single core, but coming to SAP using as a multi-core processors. Means the minimum is you're taking as a 80 core. Means one blade is taking as minimum 16 cores will be there. So this is followed by the Intel. Okay, 80 core processors. You can compress so this much of will be there. Next one is a supporting as a GPFS. Means General parallel processing for file system. Normally using as a normal file system means at a time you're able to access only file system at a time. But when you go for this is this is IBM product. Okay, so this is only go for AX operating system. The okay, IC, IC processor this is providing general parallel processing for the file system. But it also will be supporting. 
this this AT core means I can understand. Yes. Sorry. This AT core means uh, that maximum AT core will be supported for this Shana DB or over things. No, no. This is ID for its getting. So if you are buying as a hardware, you can select it. It's a minimum. Maximum is taking based on that. You want to make the floor bare, fire base, so that is taking. It's a minimum. I'm just saying here. By default, it's probably no, Intel no. company, AT core processors. Okay. 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 It is by default. The Intel processor will be the AT core. You are saying right? Yeah. You're taking the power machines, IBM power machines. It's taking automatically by that. Okay. The so, Honor DB will be uh, Oracle will be the core based license only. Same as well as Honor DB also the core based license only, right? Four base. Four base means? No, no, no. Oracle DB license should be come by core base license only. This much core, this much core only. But okay. uh, what about this Honor DB? Honor DB how, how they are licensing? Uh, the single license should be size, so, so, size by. No, so in the training in the training environment. We want installing minimum. We say is IDS version you installing. So recording minimum 32 GB and 30 core CPUs is means is here eight CPUs there. So automatically taking as a 32 GB. Okay. It's so coming take Is a minimum. I don't know. I am asking on RDB licensing. They are size based, they are licensing. How they are licensing that uh, this it's much a size will be the not a hardware based, it's not a hardware based, it's a product based product. Okay, suppose you are to buying as NSAP HANA 2.0, then the based on the product. So, I already told that if you want installing HANA DB, you have to contact with the hardware partners. Okay, so those are private hardware. Uh, the PPM. Uh, that uh, product base means PP, MM, that kind of that model wise you are saying or how it is? No, no, that is a different. That is a yeah, that is a front end. Don't compare the MMPP, that is a front end products. When you're taking as a front end, is those are paying as a license from the product base as well as a based on the users. So, how many users will okay. be there? The two licenses are different. Now, if okay. you need to yeah. Okay, this is the paying as only how to buy it license only for product base. Okay, what type of product we installing and where you installing this software into the some hardware partners. So you have to take the hardware partner like IBM Power Missions or AWS, HP, Dell, Itachi, those are providing. So those are providing as minimum is 1.8 GB RAM. So max will be having as a 1 terabyte RAM will be there. So, Sir, my existing database is 12 by SA, so you can find as a 4 or 5 based RAM. There's a point of parallel, those are. Okay, this is the maximum minimum. After, suppose, sir, sir now uh, my existing Oracle database size is 20, sorry, 12 terabyte is there. Then what we do? Once you are upgrading into HANA, as you can, 1.5 terabyte RAM is required. Okay, then what we do? I have to buy as a 2 blades. Okay, you are buying the two pairs of RAM. It's one one plus one. Okay. Blade means you are saying RAM, right? Yeah, RAM only. This is the, everything is RAM only, no? Everything you do the two size of RAM only. There is no hardest what? concept. Okay. okay. So this is so here you are Mr. So you are installing as a variety of the hard disk. So my current size is 15 terabytes. The size is there. Okay. Once you are to moving this overall data into HANA, so now I want me before me first of all what will I do the hardware sizing? Okay, means how much RAM you can installing. Then after that you can move the data to here to here. Then once you have to move the data into here, first of all I want to calculate how much RAM you have to buy it. So approximately you have to buy the two terabyte because it's as for your compression radio. So 1.5 is not getting it. So directly what will you have to two terabyte RAM is one terabyte, one terabyte, two days you have to buy it. Okay, so here you remember the sizing concept as well as the licensing concept. We have to pay the crew RAM based. Okay, when you're saying is license, the license is here. You have to pay the licenses based on the product. Okay, so now I want okay. to buy the SAP and 2.0. I have to pay the only for this. So again, you want to pay the RAM and that is different. Okay. 
so when you saying as a license for front end back end so front end back end the front end product or sap front end product like you say ecc netweaver okay those are you have to pay the license fees then based on the user ids are based on the product so the license is different okay so this is you have to pay the product base so, as well as the user base number of users is it can pay for user Okay. So we need to get the license for even uh, front end and back end uh, differently, right? Yeah, then you can both have all. Okay, okay. You have to go for product based as well as user based. Okay. So if you want to, if you have basis knowledge using, just go for transition code SLW1 to calculate the license. This is for user license. Suppose you want to check in yes license, you can get in as a by default how many license. See the product based license. Uh, like an example sheet here. This is an app. That's why I'm just we are confusing front end, back end, both are different. Okay, don't compare that. Okay. So see a transition code here. Yes, license. So here, yeah. what type of product is installing? The front end is NetViewer, back end HANA DB. Okay, so how many licenses so by default? So here, one month or maybe how many months? Three months is getting by default. It's expired, it's valid. Valid, valid. We want to do new one. What we do? You have to buy this. Not apply the license key through service market. This is the front end, not for database. Okay. Okay. So okay. suppose I want to pay the user license. When you create the user only, SLWT. It is not available. When you go for any user ID, you have the license will be there. This is the license. Is a contact employee normal. Okay. okay. For example. Is not showing here. He's doing the contact lab. All this, so this is the user license. Now I go for HANA DB. HANA DB, how to pay it the product base. Okay, if you want to take the don't including the hard RAM, RAM hardware, you don't include anywhere. It is maybe the infrastructure manager, not us. Okay, those are by the hard hardware based on that. You can install in the product. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Okay. And the next is here. Okay, one minute, one minute. Sorry. That, uh, yeah. Plus RAM means that uh, I, if I want to go for a buy for a license means, I have a yeah. uh, 1.5 TB data size means, I need to purchase uh, uh, 1.5 TB RAM and as well as 1.5 TB, uh, uh, 1.5 TB size license also we need to buy in HANA. Right? That is what I'm you not, are saying, right? I'm not getting come again. My, my, my size is future 10 years. My size is 1.5 TB data. 1.5 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. TB data and go up by one on DB, right? What terabyte? What is that? It's, it's a future growth. 1.5 TB data. I'm having in 10 years. I okay. plan to buy for this 1.5 GB data for a license. That's right. Yeah, that is as you have to. That is your hardware for that. Okay. In future, estimation compulsory. You have to give that during the sizing, or you can give that. So per year, how much growth will be there? After three years, how much growth is there? After 10 years, how much growth is there? Just also per year, you can go for the growth. Is, that is one terabyte. So nobody taking as a 10 years means now here. What happened every year? I want to go for 10 terabyte. You don't pay the license. Doing the maintenance. Okay, you do maintenance. Maintenance team is then you can make as a annual maintenance contract. You have to pay for that. Not into the overall terabytes. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Understood. Okay. Now this is our with the future. So okay, general product processing processing resource is available. Uh, okay, these are the overall major futures of SAP and also remaining small small futures is also there. So that is not considered the future, but these are the major factors. Why most of the countries are using it like NRDB, why we also take as a focusing in NRDB. So these are the major. Okay, so till now what we discussed once we have to recap.
okay these are the futures so what are the meaning of here multi core processor these are hardware wise what are the inventions those are doing software wise what are the combination there row wise compression packing partition aggregation etc this is a overall with the ram okay now here compared to our hardware this is a normal computer this is a hana computer okay so in normal computer where we store this overall data in the format of hard disk so you have to processing through ram is taking very so that's why what happened those are going to multi core architecture this is the they have to take the solid state disk or a persistence in normal hard disk okay and the memory you are increasing the memory what happened the data will be storing in the format row wise as well as column wise partitioning also there the compression pack is very high inserting the data into multi -tick. i will explain what is the multi tick during as well and here is a normal cpu this is the multi core cpus with the multi general processing file systems okay so this is the ana computers working on. now so again here what is meaning of fluency so is the node configuration during the argument we discussing one by one here now here what are the front end component what are the in hana flat what are the components is there how we can log on that so this is the one why most of the clients are go for as a hana is that but so you are installing hana db then what happened you have to log unstructured data social network text data okay general processing data machine language rfid all rfid everything you have to any you can say simply unstructured data or any type of database will be integrated into the ana db okay this is you have to do replication every day uh, once again guys okay so or already you have to integrate it here okay even so how we can log in so either you have to log in as a mobile phone or tablet or desktop anywhere you can log in so even you have to run your front end sap server or any type of database you want to replicate into the hana db or you have to meeting any type of compression all you can submit it to the hana db so you have to log in through browser based or studio based through the hana db okay so these are the all activities go for deployment landscape means so now i want to installing as hana db on top of the hana db you can run this all the solution any type you can say simply any type of application you want to run in so any type of so you can log in one by one can check okay and how the deployment will be there so this is the means without disturbing in existing landscape how we can implementing as a hana db so what are the hana features will be there so hana platform hana apps hana accelerator cloud and sap hana so this all you can go for one by one tomorrow sessions okay so now i want to open small history like so what are the hana versions will be there so starting of sap hana version is sap hana 1.0 sps 02 and sps 12 so that is implementing 2011 okay after that now current version is sps 012 sps03 okay so this is the existing now here what is meaning of sps here ana 1.0 is the major major version okay so here what is meaning of sps here sps is nothing but support packages stacks what we call support package stacks okay suppose now here i say what is starting version of sps here So the starting version of SAP Hana 1.0 SPS 012 SPS 03 so 02. Okay. So here, so these are you can calling as a miss here to here you can call support package miss. So here SPS 01, what are the issues are came into picture? The issues are troubleshooting and those are in the market major issues, not small size issues, only major issues. Then those are. Sir, again, suppose if you want to go for SPS 01, in between, any versions is there? Yeah, it is also there. So that will be calling as a revisions. What we call? We calling as a revisions means one SPS to another version maximum revisions are ten. Okay. For example, 
now what i will do so max means 10 divisions will be there so now here my current version is so you can say 0 1 0 2 you can what is the 0 you can call revision 2 revision 3 revision 4 revision 5 revision 6 revision 7 revision 8 revision 9 and revision 10 revision 10 what will they call it s base 0 again to again okay again maybe 20 okay 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 again okay. for the next one here sps 03 so it is a number 30 you can say normally okay keep calling as it is a number 30 so this again a small small changes we keep calling as a revision again here also the maintenance or revision source is divided to the maintenance equals again here so i want to go for 1.01 1.02 1.03 this is small minor minor issues not major so that will be calling as a maintenance revisions what we call it maintenance revisions okay yeah, now versions are divided total how many type here so here the fcs consists of the limiting sps support package tracks so that will be complete the revisions revisions is consist of maintenance revisions Okay, for example, I show you this HANA version is totally when you download it, you know everything about it. Okay, so HANA version is totally all three words there SPS, revision, as well as a maintained revisions. Okay, so what is the meaning of revisions here? What is the meaning of revision? Revision is a minor rule. Minor changes from my uh, HANA DB they are called as a revisions. No, no, just one second. Okay. Minor is not maintained revisions. Okay. Maintenance. Okay, you see here SAP guys are using SAP and using the 2010 and market is 2011. So SAP and I have the three will be there. What of this here? Support packages, stacks, under support packs have the revision, revisions have in the maintenance revisions. Okay. And now come into here because of installation, you know that. Okay. So what is meaning the support pack stacks? For major changes. Yeah, major changes. What are the major changes that is called May, any major issues uh, with the existing one? Okay, SPS 0 to SPS 12. Okay. Then go for new one. Then go for next one. Revisions. Revisions here. So revisions are between the SPS. Match. So the Thank maximum you. is example what those doing so three sps 04 so 32 what we those are called reason your voice is breaking uh, Shirdi, your, your voice is breaking actually yeah i'm saying what is the meaning of maintenance revisions here uh no no uh just can, can you just go back to the revision uh, actually we couldn't be able to hear your voice uh, clearly yeah. yeah revision yeah. Re yeah yeah this one okay sps 0 is be there not of anything so yeah revision number 31 revision number 32 revision number 33 revision number 34 calling revision okay it's kind of a patch right yeah, it's kind of patches yeah. but you can call the you don't call the patches you can call it the revision this terminal is it okay again here maintain revision what is maintain revision here okay under point one suppose i'm taking as sps09 just is the reason number 90 or something okay under 90 97.07 90.0203 like you have this it is called as a 
small small notes small small errors minor so that we go over maintain it okay and this is the s note number i'll explain that okay so these are the version history so it's the first version of sap is sap 1.0 and xps 00 is not released in the market but is available okay starting version is so in the customer is available sp01 is available in the market that is 2011 till so this is not mentioned here now now another 2.0 sp03 for example now tell me what is this uh, what is this version 2.0 Uh, 2.0 2.00. No, what is that meaning? You directly say the class with or understand? No, I don't say. Ah, it's. Okay, go ahead, Mohan. Ah, uh, actually, uh, version would be two. Uh, version would be uh, that is the uh, version would be two, and the uh, revision and the service packs would be zero zero zero. No, no, no. Read, read, read all the proper procedure. This now I told na. Read everything once again. Yeah, yeah. See, this version oh. is two. This three point zero is here revision. Okay. Yeah. This what we call in revisions too. Top, top, top. Anyone? Sorry. What is this machine number? Oh, then you are pulling. No, I am not going to talk to you. Hmm? What is this version uh, number? Version number is two. Two. Okay. This is okay. Uh, okay. Version number is two and uh, point is uh, three zero is here. SPS, I think three zero is here. SPS. So here you say okay. Maintenance zero. Revision. Okay. Is thirty. What is meaning thirty here? SPS revision 30 revision 30 is not revision so revision number 30 is not the word meaning SPS SPS zero three okay SPS zero three okay so that is the current version okay for example So what is this? Ah, uh, this is version two and uh, SPS zero one. Okay, and two years is what? Not divided this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, sorry, one, two, one, uh, one two. What is the one, one two? two? That is SPS zero two. SPS zero one. SPS zero one. And maintenance version. The main this one. Under we have some maintenance like one point two zero five. This is one point eight zero number. Maintenance zero. No, no, no. This is not a maintenance. 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 This is not a main So, so for example, I am still showing so how we can download it. So, if you want to install it, please also install it. So, I will explain you how to install it. Also, yes. Okay, then I will explain it. I am coming. I am just a tapu tapu. I am not going to do anything. I am just downloading. I am just moving. उनलोडिंग
Uh, anyone can create an ID, right? No, no, no. Only who are working in basis can have an ID. Okay. Hmm. So you have to pay the license. The client will be paid with the amount. Go to see here. Okay. Yeah. Only this. Who are working in the basis department or a hundred department, those are having the access to so download the software and everything. Whatever you said is here, that is only monitoring purpose. You are know? not downloading any software. Mm -hmm. If a client is paying as a company, whatever license for it is showing the whole thing. Okay. So this is providing a asset. So here I want to download a hundred software for the page like that. Okay, now I want to go for I will explain. So where is the HANA software here? HANA platform mission. So what are the issues we say? I will explain it. Okay. So you have platform mission say enterprise issue is there and base issue also there. Okay. Now I want to go which version is there? One point zero and two point zero. When you go for latest version two point zero installation. Then, uh, how many types of uh, version is uh, standard uh, enterprise? Any version is there? Page three versions. Okay. Uh, no, Anna, Anna DT. Uh, yes. Anna DT. Yeah. Three is there. Enterprise okay, what is there? Data version, base version. Hmm. Okay. Now see when you're downloading, how is flowing like? Which software I want to download now? Which is the latest one? So yeah, totally 27 is available. So how do you know which one you want to download in here? The release date, based on the release date, you can download. Release date, that is not release date. Those are no, 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 based on the SPS2 or SPS. No, no, latest release only it will come by release date only, right? That is why I'm saying this is Linux. Sorry? No, no, I thought that the latest release only is a updated one that is why i said the release data otherwise you can see that the uh, revision and the spas versions on the okay that is also there for example here is available here is available here is available and here is available that is more yes yes okay based on the so site all is available no? okay. <laughs> after that we can check the size of the So here we have to downloading this inside in that personal PC installing this all. Why you want to go for four? This because of in the service marketplace maximum size is four GB only. So that's why what happened okay. those are uncranked and those splitting. Most here overall database size is four GB, four GB, four GB, twelve GB, and one point five is nearly. 13.14 GB is available. So in the service market is not uploading as more than 4 GB. That's why what happened. Those are doing the part one, part two. So when it go for, you can download it on the software and extract it. Once you extract, it only one folder. Okay. Also, I want to take this is only this is a normal Linux missions. Okay, 64 and then. But here also this four also there. One more for us. What are these four? So power missions, IBM, IBM, yeah, IBM power missions you can install it. Normal, normal system cannot install it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So tomorrow our agenda is to discussing how to install it as a SAP software, Anna software. How we can? Because it's I said Anna DB is supporting only Linux. Yes, sir, sir. Okay, that's why you have to connect with the Porti. I can install it. That's why I'm saying the software is not available to the side of the. GPFS, where you can use it? Uh, the GPFS. Sorry? All the wherever we are installing, wherever we are installing Windows machine, uh, Linux machine, there itself we are using GPFS or what? GPFS comes yeah. up there, yeah, on a GPFS. Yeah, no, that is really. You can use a GPS or you can do normal FSA as you can use it. Normal FFT as you can use it. Normal file system as you can use it. So these guys are using normal FSA, not for GPFS. Yes, the Linux and Windows are using a normal file system. That is the same as. 
yeah here, here you can use a normal knowledge so if you want to five then you can put gps configuration is required okay no man i can understand that is i am repeating this yeah so the, yeah you can install it anywhere that is go for gps i'll show that so you have to take the server access okay even i made to the kartik okay. already so you're requiring us not for sy4 hana yesterday they were sharing one server that is not working properly Oh, let me show this. We already have sent the screen. No, why you are uh, mentioning GPFS? The GPFS is a no, no. Why you are mentioning GPFS? GPFS is a one kind of IBM file system. Why you are mentioning yeah, GPFS? Yeah, that is In very fast. Of... You can access as a multiple as two GPFS only. Right? Suppose uh, you are all front end or IBM based, like uh, you are a server. Are accessing to the place okay. either, so be for. So this is one. So for you are to making a hardware. So IBM is one of the hardware partner. So this is my application. This is my HANA database. This is my file system. This is my social line. This is the core processors. Understood. Understood. And that is option. If you want to take IBM permission, this is option. Okay. Understood. Understood. Means he's saying supporting compared to traditional database, you can go for this supporting all GPFS also. Okay, okay. I mean the front end all the hardware part is IBM. Yes, it is front end. Then you can take this all general parallel processing system and the hardware for accessing these. Okay. Okay. Done. Done. Yeah. Okay. Then tomorrow you can go for installation. Everyone do the installation. I will explaining that how we can install your personal PC also, okay? And how we can downloading. I provide software also you can download. Meanwhile, I will ask the Karthik also to make the software on this. This is a common one. Everyone is able to extend. Okay, I have to install your personal PC also. How we can install? I will explain that. Okay? Yeah, okay. sure, sure, ready. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Bye.